this roasted fish recipe is perfect for company and it is cooked all on one tray, which makes cleanup super easy. And it comes together um, in a flash if you've done your prep work ahead of time. I rated the salad bar for some of these ingredients, but you could also just cut up a big batch of peppers or carrots on the weekend and have them on hand to make dinners extra easy and quick. And you're going to add a pinch of salt and then just toss it all together. And now you're ready for the oven. Just pop this into your preheated oven at 400 degrees. While the veggies are roasting, cook the quinoa. When the quinoa comes to a boil, go ahead and turn it down to medium, cover it again, and let it continue to cook. Let the fish come to room temperature while the veggies finish cooking and the quinoa cooks. After the veggies are sort of nice and roasted, you'll go ahead and add the fish. Everything just cooks on this one tray and it looks gorgeous. After you zest the lemon, cut it in half. You're gonna squeeze juice all over the fish. And then add your last little bit of salt just right on top of the fish and it's ready to go back in the oven for another 15 minutes or so until the fish is cooked through. The quinoa is all done. You can tell because it, it sort of, the grain gets this little white tail on the end that you can see and it starts to fluff up a bit. So I'm just gonna cover it for now and turn the heat off. While the fish roasts, this is a great time to prep your garnish. I always keep fresh herbs wrapped in wet paper towels. It just keeps them much fresher. Then you will give the cilantro a rough chop. Chop the toasted pine nuts and then combine the pine nuts and the cilantro. This is just too gorgeous. Run the spatula under the veggies. Get as much as you can. You can come back and grab a few extra veggies too. And then add the cilantro and pine nuts. This super colorful dinner, you may have noticed, only took two cooking vessels and is ready to go. Roasted fish and veggies with quinoa and pine nuts.